Hello everybody and welcome to Code of Aditya. Today we're going to be doing another Scratch project called Username Generator. So let's get started. So we here's the project we're going to be making, Username Generator. Let's try it. You have to click on the grill to generate a random name. If you like it, you can click the check mark to add it to the list. And you can just go to random one. That one, yeah. So let's get started. So generating username. So we have to go to the starter project, and um, and I'm gonna make it like this. So now we have all of these. So um, we already have. Okay, we need to remix the project. Once remixing the project, you have to click the remix button to remix the project. Okay, now that we have the remix, we need to click on variables um, and uncheck the two boxes next to them. So now right next to adjective, uncheck it, and right next to nouns, uncheck it, and they should disappear. And make a variable, click on the make a variable button, and name it username. Okay. And we need to add a person sprite. So go to costumes, this this sprite, and then choose a sprite from the library. And we can just use this one. I'm just gonna put it over here or something. And then add code to the sprite. So click on this, um, do events. When sprite clicked, when this sprite clicked, we want to set username to zero, but instead of zero, we just want to set it to empty. And then we need a join block. Go to operators, and then go to join right here and drag it into the circle. And then go to the variables and then do item one of adjectives and bring that where apples is right here. I'm gonna make this bigger right here. So then we want um we want to pick random. So we want to go to operators. We want pick random one to ten. Drag that in where one is right here and make it, let me zoom in, and make this part length of adjectives. The variables, uh, length of adjectives right here. One to length of adjectives. So that's what it should look like. It looks a little complicated, but it's not really that complicated. Actually, make it 10. So like that, so that's one part. And, and the same thing on the other side. We just want to, right click on this join block duplicate and then i'm just gonna go this way and add it right here and we just want to change wherever it says adjectives to nouns like that we don't want this to be banana where did that come from oh no yeah that's correct oh we don't want this whole join block we don't we just want the item block so where it says item, it's hard to see. So where it says item here, so we have the one big join block, and then we want the item two item block. So we want the two item blocks, one nouns and one adjectives. So now we just want to say the username. So we want to go to looks, say hello, and then go to variables, drag in username. So now if we click the sprite, it gives us random names. So I'm just going to hide this username by the same way we hid the list. We just click on this button. Challenge, add more variety. So we could add more um, lengths like uh, like here. We could add more lists or um, colors or stuff to make it more um, more names. So you can do that. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. 
So now we want to save our usernames. So we want to make a new list. Click on the make a list button and name it names I like. Okay. So now it's, that's empty, I'm going to place it over here. Okay. And then we want to click plus and then you can like type in things or something. But we don't want that, so we can click that, the X button. Now that we have new blocks for this, um, we can try this out. So, add the button for Sprite, which looks, looks like a check mark, and drag it across the state to the speech bubble. So if we go to choose a Sprite, button for, and then drag it next to the here, and we want to go to button four, add, go to events. When this right clicked, go to variables, add thing to adjectives, but change it to add a username from the top here to names I like. Now, if we test out our code, then we click on the thing. Let's say we like this name. Then we click on here and it adds it to this. Um, and we can like click this button to make it bigger right here we click and drag to make it bigger so i'm gonna move this and it'll add that like this and then you can also export this to a csv or a notepad we have this um list so yeah so this is a challenge to add numbers, like numbers to the end of the name. Um, that's your challenge to make. And all these other challenges, that's for you too. Add a profile picture um, and everything else. So that's for you to do. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.